and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now, a while ago, we did an episode on beauty hacks, and today we are back with an episode on nail hacks. And we're using all this beautiful nail polish courtesy of Sally Hansen. So, these are from their new and improved Complete Salon Manicure Keratin Strong range. Apart from all the existing benefits, now all of them contain keratin, which can strengthen your nails up to 64%. And they're also pretty. <laughs> okay, on to the hacks. Now, these are a mixture of hacks that we found online and we want to try, and also some that are already tried and tested and we want to share with you. Okay, you know, sometimes you have like an old nail polish bottle, right? And it's completely hardened and refuses to open. So turn it upside down and submerge the top part into some hot water like this, and you hold it for like a few minutes. So it's been a few minutes, you take it out, and just be careful, ah, it was in hot water, so it's probably a little bit hot, so you might want to like wipe it off or something. So this was really hard to open before this, and ta da! That was a lot easier than I expected. I would give it like a 10 out of 10 because it actually just physically softens the nail polish around the cap. So that really just makes it easier to open. And I didn't have to use that much force either. But prevention is always better than cure. So this is a little tip that I learned. So what you want to do is get a cotton bud, get some nail polish remover on there, and you kind of want to clean out the sides. Okay, so then you also want to get some Vaseline, coat this area to prevent it from like gathering and sticking together. And to whoever came up with this, Hats off the hue. That's the nail polish colour. <laughs> okay, so you know when you go to the salon and you do your nails, right? Like the manicures always roll the bottles instead of shaking it. So apparently, shaking it causes air bubbles. So now I'm going to shake the one on my right and roll the one on my left and we'll see if that affects our nail polish painting experience. So I do see some bubbles formed on top, but I don't know if this is going to come out when I paint my nails. Okay, let's paint the one that was shaken first. Okay, I must say this brush is really nice. So no air bubbles. Let's try the other nail. Oh, but the application for this is okay this is I swear this is not my head the application for this is like easier so the conclusion is I didn't see air bubbles in either of them now the only thing is it was very minuscule I don't even know if you can see it on camera but the one that was shaken I felt like the application was just not as even and I noticed it very much more so when I was painting the one that was rolled so because that one glided on so easily so yeah something to think about I would say 8 out of 10 because I feel like the air bubble theory didn't quite get proven but I could definitely feel the difference but that's just to me. So this one is for painting without getting polish on your hands. So I actually find this kind of cool because before we used Vaseline and a Q-tip whereas this one you only need like one tube of lip balm and you can just like leave it with your nail polish all the time so quite easily. Alright so what you do is you take the stick of lip balm and you just coat the area around it. So you can be quite liberal with it. Don't get it on your nail, yeah? Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it badly on purpose and see if this works. Okay, so it's dried up. Now I'm going to see if this works. So this Q-tip has like no nail polish remover on it. It's just a Q-tip. So I'm really just pushing off the balm. Works like a charm. Even like the part that's like super close to the nail, the part that dried as a film is just coming off as a film, which is great. Ta-da! A perfect nail in purple heart. So I would give this a 10 out of 10 because it's super easy. This is one of my favourite ones for cleaning up the edges of the nail polish, especially if you're like me and not the most precise applicator. So for this one, you need an eyeliner brush and also some nail polish remover. Okay, so as you can see, I purposely painted my nail a little bit badly. So now I'm going to dip the brush into the nail polish remover and start removing. Okay, so this is an old eyeliner brush I had lying around and the bristles are actually a little bit softer than I would like. So if you want, you can go to like an art shop and get one of those like painting brushes, you know, the ones that are really thick, coarse and quite short because that really gives you a good grip. I would give this a 10 out of 10 because I can use the same brush over and over and over again. And it's so easy. So this one is for when you paint your nails and then you accidentally knock into something and you get a little dent. So what they said online was to lick your nail and apparently it helps to smooth it out. I'm sorry, but that sounds like a terrible idea to me. Like licking half dry nail polish. So I'm just gonna try and simulate that with like water, okay? <laughs> so the nail polish is semi dry right now. I'm gonna make a little dent. So I'm putting a big drop of water now onto the dented area. And then I'm just gonna slowly pat it back into place. I can't really see through the water, but I can feel the dent smoothing out underneath. Okay, so there you go. It really works. I was not expecting that to work. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 because that was very easy. Okay, this one, you're in a bit of a pinch. You have nail polish on, you want to remove it, but you have no nail polish remover. So apparently, you can use nail polish to remove nail polish. So that sounds interesting. Let's try this out. And can I just say before I do that though, that this is a very pretty nude. This is called a Mauve Along 
And I think it's very complimentary to my skin tone, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Nice colour. As you can see, it's completely dry. So what I'm going to do now is put nail polish on top of that and see if this works. I'm going to be very generous with this nail polish. So now I'm going to have like my plain cotton pads and remove. Ta-da! Wow, that was really fast. Oh my god. So it worked. Okay, actually I was kind of expecting it to work, but I wasn't expecting it to work that well. Like it just cleaned off everything so fast and very cleanly. So I would give that like a 10 out of 10. Okay, so you know how sometimes when you use dark nail polish, right? When you remove it, there is a stain that's left behind. So it can be a bit irritating. This is something that's quite simple. Apparently, you can use like toothpaste and just brush it off. So let's see if that works. So I painted my nail this dark shade of red because, you know, why not? <laughs> So I've removed the red nail polish and it's left a bit of a stain as most darker nail polishes do. So now I'm going to try and see if this works. I'm going to use a toothpaste and brush it out. Oh, that's a strange sensation. Okay, I'm going to rinse it off. As you can see, the stain is gone. It did take a little while to get rid of the stain, but I would still give it a 10 out of 10 because this is the first time that I have found something that removes the stain of the nail polish because even nail polish remover doesn't do that. So. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay, so we've come to the end of the episode. We hope you liked it. Now, what I really love about this range from Sally Hansen is that they've got such a huge range of colours and all kinds of colours. So I really love all the poppy, strong colours that are so, so much fun and so playful. And then they also have a really nice selection of nudes and you can really like match it like with different occasions. I think Fruity Patootie, this is really good for like a night out with the girls, you know? Like fun, playful. Red-handed, super good for like gala, a formal event or something that needs you to dress up. Blue Street, you're going out in the sun, you're doing something crazy, you want to jump out of planes. <laughs> Enchanté, this is like a nude colour, great for like day-to-day -day use. But you still want to look nice? Okay, before we go, we have three sets of Sally Hansen products to give away, worth over $150 each. So each set has like 10 different nail polish colours as well as nail polish remover and 3D gel shine top coat. So if you want to win, do you know what you need to do? Yes! First, register for a Click Network account. Secondly, leave a comment in the comment box down below. We'll just pick three. That's it from us. Take care. Till next time. Go be beautiful.